The United States Army has a brand new aircraft that is supposed to be replacing 2,000 Blackhawks. Now you might be saying, wow, this has got to be some amazing state-of-the-art next-level aircraft that is going to be taking on the workload of a Blackhawk. What's this thing, a flying saucer? How new is this? What, what type of cool new doodads are going on with this thing? It's got to be something no one's ever seen before. The winner of the Army's contract to replace so many Blackhawks and later on down the road, the Apache attack helicopter is the V-280 Valor. Now you might be saying to yourself, that airframe looks oddly familiar. And that's because out of the two companies that combined to make this, one of them created the Osprey. Which, when that first came around, everybody was excited about until the amount of crashes that happened and dozens and dozens of Marines that died while on board these Ospreys. Let's, let's get into that and break down this fan. Let's break down this aircraft. But before I do, Listen to this. Raid Shadow Legends. With over 80 million downloads and players all across the world, you can take on the tons of awesome boss battles and one-on-one -on -one real players in Teleria. With over 650 unique champions, you'll never get bored. Raid Shadow Legends has another trick up their sleeve because they're bringing in the legendary MMA and now professional wrestling star Ronda Rousey. Born to a minor banner lord, Ronda trained hard with her seven brothers to become a formidable foe and warrior. Ronda's true potential became obvious as she took on foe after foe with her bare hands. And there was plenty of kicking ass and taking names as she became queen of the arena. And you can get Ronda for free right now, and that's for all new and old players. Just log into Raid for seven days between now and February 20th and she's all yours. And to celebrate Rhonda's arrival in Raid, all you have to use is code RAIDRONDA and you can get a whole bunch of helpful stuff like a 3 day 100 XP bonus. 500,000 silver and 5 energy refills. Perfect for leveling up Rhonda and keeping her on top of her game. Just make sure to enter Raid Rhonda to get those goodies for yourself. And if you're an Amazon Prime member, you can get your exclusive rewards in Raid right now. But if you haven't played Raid yet, all you have to do is click the link below or scan the QR code in the corner and you can get unique bonuses worth up to $30 for free. We're talking a free epic champion, Burgess. 200,000 silver, one energy refill, and one XP boost with one ancient shard. So you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get in game. All this treasure will be waiting for you here and available for 30 days, but for new players only. Just click the link in the description or scan the QR code. After having a lot of companies dump a ton of money into research and development, the Army sided with two companies for the future of Army Aviation. Bell and Lockheed Martin's V-280 Valor, looking like an Osprey and a shitty G5 from a rap song, had a baby. And the other is Sikorsky and Boeing's Defiant X, looking like that shitty two-rotor helicopter toy that everybody was getting for Christmas like eight years ago. One of the prerequisites is that both of these aircraft were supposed to fit in the footprint of a UH-60 Blackhawk helicopter. Now the Defiant definitely did. Uh, but the Valor is about 30 feet wider. 30 feet wider. And we're talking about footprints. That's like Shaq trying to fit into one of my shoes. I'm not going to lie. At first, I was kind of impressed. Okay, a, a newer, sleeker version of the Osprey, hopefully with a lot less problems. And this futuristic, cool-looking dual-rotor helicopter. Now, you might think this competition was nose-to-nose, -nose, where one faltered, the other might succeed, and vice versa. A large aviation game of seesaw. I do this better than him, but he does this better than me. But in reality, what happened was the perfect definition of military grade. Because the competition between the Valor and the Defiant, if you even want to call it a competition, started off with the Defiant crashing on one of its initial test flights back in 2017. And although they wanted to do another flight in 2018, they couldn't 
because it was still super fucking bad. The main issue with the Defiant Beings powertrain, that's like your car not working because the engine and transmission don't fucking do shit. So for two years, the purpose of the Defiant X was to sit absolutely stationary like a fucking World War II tank or Vietnam era helicopter in front of a VFW until Sikorsky and Boeing finally figured out that the engine and transmission need to work together in order for the thing to fucking move. It took two years, 2017 to 2019, for the Defiant to fly again, defying the laws of gravity, and begin the competition between itself and the V280 Valor. Let's touch on some numbers. The V280 Valor, which a lot of people are having issue with the name Valor, because it hasn't really proven itself yet, is supposed to replace 2,000, not the entire fleet, but 2,000 UH-60 Blackhawks, the aviation workhorse of the Army. And that's supposed to get done by 2030? S seven years from now? 2,000 made? I... What's the math on that? What's seven... What's what's 2,000 divided by seven? We got... It's 14. We got four numbers. 14. We got 60. 56 is what? 8. 8 times 7 is 56. We got 4 after that. 35 is 5. So 285. That's 285 a year. That's 2 every 3 days. I... Oh man, I if I was a betting man, and I most certainly am, I would bet my fucking house, my crack house, that that shit ain't getting even close to three quarters fulfilled by 2030. Not to mention about 1,200 Apache attack helicopters are supposed to be replaced by this as well. That's a tall order. Oh, what are the problems you ask? Allow me to explain. Now the odds of this possibly happening in some sort of theater overseas, <laughs> I couldn't really think of one. But the Osprey here, similar in style to the V280 Valor, has a lot of issues with its engine and turbines getting gunked up with, what was the word again? Oh, sand and dust. Do these people think we're never gonna be back in the Middle East or a fucking beach? The big brother to the V280 is also sidelined and temporarily grounded in the Air Force. And not just like one frame, the entire fleet, because there's an issue with the clutch skipping and putting too much torque in one rotor and not enough in the other and finally jerking the shit out of the fucking aircraft for a couple seconds and then finally like evening out and being okay. That's the Air Force for you. There's an issue, let's set it down. The Marines on the other hand are like, we've already taught our pilots to deal with that, so. We're gonna keep on flying it. They're good. Did I happen to mention that the overwhelming majority of deaths in Ospreys were Marines during its first several years? You'll wonder fucking why. But what if the Valor's fine? Bell and Lockheed Martin learned from all the mistakes done in the Osprey, updated, corrected, and fixed it all, and placed it in a smaller, more agile frame. Let's look at the numbers and see how it stacks up against our favorite, the UH-60 Blackhawk. In top speed, the Valor is 350 miles an hour, 305 knots, while the Blackhawk is 183 miles an hour at 159 knots. At combat ranges, the Valor can go between 580 and 900 miles, while the Blackhawk is limited to 370. Outside of combat, the Valor can ferry 2,400 miles before needing fuel. For capacity, the Valor can hold 14 troops while the Black Hawk is at 11. And when hauling cargo, the Black Hawk can hold 9,000 pounds. And although the Valor has not had a specific weight put out yet, it's estimated to be well over that. I mean, stacked up, it seems like the Valor, on paper, looks really, really good. But these are just numbers, words on paper, analytics and such. What about actions, deeds, right? What about putting some Joes in this aircraft, flying it around on missions, really testing it out, shooting missiles and sh Oh, there is? 
There's a single video of that all happening and we can watch it together right now? You're going to school twice today, bro. Not this time, Jack. Yeah? But I did smoke you yesterday. Yeah, that's because I was on support the whole time. Just another mission. Yeah, just another mission. What, what do children have to do with this aircraft? Oh, dude, check it out. I downloaded a new expansion pack last night. FBL? FBL. Sweet, future vertical lift. Super fast, can fly like forever and carry almost anything. Kids don't know what the fuck that is. FBL? SMD? We used to type 80,000 and 82 just so we could giggle at boobs on calculators. We didn't know what the fuck future forward landing bullshit acronyms were. Flies like an airplane, a hummus like a helicopter. Oh yeah. I can't wait to fly this bad boy. Oh, me too. Gonna be high and hot today. Yeah, the two says the target is a C2 compound on the border. Well defended. Oh, C2, that's almost as explosive as C4. When the when is the flying going to happen? We got a new mission. You got the brief? Roger that, sir. It's supposed to be 100 degrees today. And we're going to what? 6,000 feet? You got it, Tom. Back when I was a platoon sergeant, a mission like that was, well, it just wasn't possible. Not anymore. We can get up there, do what we gotta do, and then go out and do it again. All right, well, so then fucking show us. Stop talking about it and be about it. What, what, if I'm getting fucking blue balls just trying to watch this plane take off. We can go out and back more than 250 nautical miles and still hover and support your mission, even at that altitude. Who are that, sir? Who are that, sir? I'm not saying that soldiers can't be actors. But if a fucking soldier ever said that in reality, you would know he's a Russian spy. Who are that, sir? Mateo, I'll see you back here on the flight line at 2200 Zulu. And we just, is this CGI? Is, is this how we get flight contracts in the army? We use 2013 CGI? Not the actual plane itself to fly around and show how capable it is. Eagle Flight, Eagle Victor, departing 25. These guys are just sitting in a fucking chair with a dark background. They're not even in the actual cockpit of this plane. Eagle Victor, uh, this is Eagle Flight, Chuck 2 is on the go. I got us dialed into the RP feed on the MFD. Holy shit. Listen, Avatar was made in 2009. You're telling me, one, you couldn't put a real fucking plane in this video, and two, you gotta use CGI from Windows Express 2004? UAV confirms the target is active with somewhere between 15 and 30 well-armed and committed fighters. <laughs> he had an iPad. He had an iPad in the <laughs> combat zone. Good fuck. <laughs> That's the most unbelievable shit! Ah! They do not know we are coming. First platoon will set up a blocking position here. Third will go in and hit the target from here and here. He must have downloaded the Blue Force Tracker app on that some bitch. Didn't know the app store had that. What? What? Who is that, sir? Viper flight, Viper Zulu. Target identified. On guns. 30 millimeter. I couldn't find a video of its weapons demo. The army went with something that we haven't actually seen its weapon capabilities yet. Just a fucking PowerPoint of what it could have. Armored vehicle in the open. On the way. What in the name of Robocop is that weapons drop down? is this shitty. It, it's all a bunch of guys running around a green screen going up steps covered by a green screen to put in a the shittiest CGI version of a plane that they have. Now I will say that that video is nine years old but that is the only combat or training footage I could actually find on the V280 Valor which if it's anything like the CGI drop down Robocop missile scene we just saw. I am not expecting much. I'm half expecting this aircraft frame to be to the United States Army Aviation Command's the ACU pattern to camouflage. 
I mean, how many times did people try to get rid of the A-10 Warthog just to have it come right back because it's so good at doing its job? Hey, Army, you can't have everything be a multitasker. Now, I'm not saying the UH-60 Blackhawk doesn't need to be upgraded or that we can't transition to some new fangled future flying mobile. I'm all about upgrading the military. But let's make sure we do it right and not just for the sake of upgrading something. All right. I'll see you next time, weirdos. Oh, and if you want Angry Cops gear, Black Friday. Use the code Black Friday and you get 20% off the entire store until Christmas. Merry Christmas. 20% off. Angry Cops everything. Code Black Friday. There it is. Five hundred and five minutes and forty seconds of bullshit. Come on! I have three words for you. Pure Suck a dick. <laughs>